What's going on, everybody? All right, I got off the roof, took another shower, all squeaky clean. Um, so I'm gonna follow up on that email. Basically, okay, this is the email here. Okay, that's just how it goes. Ali, the first part of it, when you wrote, uh, I hope this email finds you well, I hope this finds you well as well. Um, I have a couple of questions uh, that I wanted to discuss with you. First of all, how likely do you think is for the judge to take a strong stance against the criminals and ensure justice is served? I think that what's going to happen is that she's going to spank them based on what they try to use her court to do, which is rubber stamp this reverse split. I think that based on one case that I saw before, I think she's going to take a stance on that. And what, and what leads me to believe that is because she included us in this lawsuit. She brought us in. Sure as hell was in Allegheny. Okay. Secondly, I wanted to discuss the new Delaware law that is supposed to come into effect September. I've heard that it will allow companies to carry out reverse splits without obtaining stockholder votes, even if the judge rules against it. Um, the judge says no to them now. They can uh, wait until September and proceed. I did a video about that. I don't think they'll get to that part. Considering that right now, uh, there, there's some major players that won't even allow like the players underneath them to short AMC because it's right now it's like fuck around and find out mode. Um, okay, I got into the stock market. Okay, let me skip past that part. I'm relatively new to all of this. And although I've invested quite a bit, it's not the end of the world. I got into the stock market hoping to make some money and provide more comfortable life for my family. God bless you. Sadly, it's been an expensive lesson. All lessons are that way. Um, and I think that this might be my first and last experience in the stock market. I don't blame you. And I think, uh, okay, on a different note, I've been following your lead with the whole XRP situation. I'll talk more about XRP in a second. Um, I already have 300 XRP and will keep adding to my position. Keep up the good work. Ali, I'm trying to save as many people as I can because I ain't gonna last forever. I appreciate your insight on these matters. You know what it is? This information based on, let's say for example, Wall Street stuff. Even though Wall Street to me is dead. Um, that's that's a different story. Everything I learned about Wall Street is crumbled because it's not Wall Street anymore. And then everything that I know about, you know, crypto encryption, blockchain, digital signatures, validations, time stamping, end-to-end -end keys, all that information, it's just been up here. It's been up here. It's been there dormant until this time. God has God has ways, and I don't you know, hey. He put me here to explain this to people now. Other than that, where would that come out in conversation? Like where? Nowhere. So if it helps people, we, we're going to do this. Um, I appreciate it. Okay, I'm eager to hear your thoughts. By the way, I still haven't received the AMC postcard yet, and I received every other AMC communication. That lets you know exactly how this, this entire process has been handled. Take care, and thanks for being there for the regular people. I am beyond the regular people. I am like regular guy number one, and I will always be that. If you guys knew me personally, there's one human being in this world that knows me 1,000%, and she cracks up with me all the time because I am just, it doesn't matter what amount of money I move in front of me, it doesn't matter. I am the most everyday, like blue collar type guy to the end. That's just how it is. Um, we all deserve better, true. It is a shitty world we live in, but we all figure it out at the end. And I'm gonna make sure that we do. Giant love everybody.